Oh, the leader of the Labour Party, Keir Beer Starmer, has done another whoopsie, another mini car crash interview, another car crash BBC interview this time actually. This is quite fascinating what's going on with our political leaders. Do you remember when we used to have competent leaders? You know, they, they might have still been liars back then, you know, they, but at least they knew how to convince us. <laughs> they knew how to be professional about it, about just running the everyday governance of the country and being MPs, look, looking after the interests of the public, generally speaking. But the state of our politicians right now, not only they don't know how to lie, they don't even know why they lie, they don't even know the basic brief of their own portfolios. Keir Starmer had an interview with the regional uh, BBC uh, about uh, the Royal Air Force uh, uh, site at uh, Scampton. And this has obviously been a controversial story. You know, the, the, the government has been wanting to use the Scampton site uh, for migrants, illegal migrants, uh, as a, you know, essentially a campsite. And uh, there's been protests from local people. There's also been national campaigns against it for other reasons. One is in terms of the waste, in terms of the cost, in terms of well, local people don't like it to be near there. And people saying, well, why are we just having the RAF sites being completely abandoned, less sorted out, help the country? All that debate's happening. Keir Starmer thought if he just go on radio or TV, I'm going to, I'm going to show you what, what we're talking about, and just attack the government without actually providing a proper solution, he could get away with it. That's what he thought. Listen to this interview, radio interview, because at the end, Keir Starmer does a very obvious, very obvious poopsie. Now, Yvette Cooper told us uh, when we were talking about RF Scampton, as you know, it's due to become a base for up to 2,000 asylum seekers. She said that Labour, if they won power, would reverse that. Just on that, how long, if you got into power, would that take? How long would it before you could close that down as a, an asylum centre? Well, we'd want to close it down as quickly as possible. It probably depends how long it's been up and running. I have to say my first position is that it shouldn't open in the first place. I think everybody who knows Scampton knows that, you know, there's private investment there. I think Hamish Faulkner, who's the Labour candidate, has just um, negotiated £300 million pounds of Well, uh, hang on, no, he hasn't. No, no, let's let's correct that straight away. Um, the £300 million pound was already on the table. It was actually secured by the then Conservative West Lindsay District Council. They came to that arrangement. That was announced months ago. So it's not your candidate that secured that. OK. Uh, uh, okay, let's just move on. Yeah, I, I, I just lied or didn't know what I was talking about. Someone told me to mention 300 million and uh, they mentioned the name of the local Labour candidate, candidate Hamish Faulkner, and say, yeah, it, it, take the credit, give the credit to him. He negotiated a deal somehow with private contractors. Yeah, but in fact, it was the actual council, Conservative-led council. It might just be a tiny story for you guys right now, but it's important to create an archive for the future. It's all these tiny stories that we never saw before. Back in the day, years ago, when we didn't have this level of access to information, with social media, with new media right now on the rise, all these tiny local uh, interviews, and all the, all the tiny scandals that people forget because we all have short-term memory, especially when it comes to politics. You know, we remember the big stuff. We remember, well, we remember Iraq. We remember Partygate. You know, Boris Johnson's cake, did he eat it or not? But we forget about the everyday tiny scandals that come and go. And then sometimes a lot of people then get tricked and vote for the same person that they knew they didn't like two years ago just because they're saying the right thing now. So we have to remind them that this is the true side of our mainstream politicians. That's why I did this video.